Well, Rob, emotional words and cries for peace. That's what we heard here at Morning Star Baptist Church. And this is what it sounded like. If you are not for peace, be quiet. Mm -hmm. If you are not for peace, step back. And for those of us who are for peace, we have to stand against the insurgents. Yeah, that was Marquita, excuse me, that was Apostle Marquita Brooks you just heard from. She joined other pastors and state and local leaders coming together to proclaim today, June 3rd, as the National Day of Peace. They raised their voices to denounce recent riots, uh, but to stand with peaceful protesters fighting for justice, especially in the wake of recent violence towards African Americans and the death of George Floyd. Now, Bishop Leon Benjamin put this event together and says he wants Floyd's legacy to be one of of peace and not anarchy, and that is why he's calling for peace starting today. I, I would like to see it catch on like wildfire. I would like to see that that we become take back our city <laughs> instead of being a place of riots and looting and 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 shouting. Nothing wrong with peaceful protests. I'm for that. That's in our First Amendment, the right to protest, the right to assemble, and and to address government. But what we saw was something else. Yeah, and Bishop Benjamin says what creating an environment of peace really looks like is praying, reading the word, acts of kindness, coming together, cultural events uh, and art activities, demonstrations. He wants to see more of that in the days to come. Working for you in Richmond, I'm Shannon Lilly, CBS 6 News.